In this video, I'll demonstrate to you how I use the SysTools Outlook Recovery Tool which I bought yesterday to repair the Outlook 2010 email data file that I have. That data file is one of several Outlook email data files I have. I have now upgraded my Outlook email application from 2010 version to 2021 version just a few days ago as well. I know that my email PST data files are corrupted and that is why even though I can open up the files in Outlook, there are emails that have been lost. A few days ago, I attempted to do repairs on my email PST data files using the free Microsoft Scan PST repair tool. However, looking at the log files after the attempted repairs were done, it looks like there are many items that Microsoft Scan PST is not able to repair. It only seems to do simple repairs. And so I've had to search for a good tool. And I think the SysTool product is a good tool. I've had to buy SysTool's Outlook Recovery tool for US $49 for a personal license. Before I purchased this license, I downloaded a free demonstration version. Then I did a test run and it appears to be able to open up the Outlook PST file and recover items. So join me in this video as I demonstrate to you how the SysTool Outlook Recovery tool works. A week ago, I downloaded and used this free Microsoft Outlook repair tool called Scan PST. It failed to repair a lot of items in my PST file. This is a log file produced by the Scan PST tool after it finished attempting to repair my Outlook PST data file. You can see there are many line items where it detects the file has CS3 of a certain quantity, whereas it should have a different quantity. So that's not good. You can also see here, it says it could not find BBT entry in the RBT, whatever that means, but there's a lot of it. And here it says it's failed to add a row to the FLT. And so there are many rows that it has failed at. So I do not have confidence that it has carried out a full proper repair of my Outlook PST data file. So I purchased the Sys2 Outlook Recovery tool. When the application starts, it needs system admin rights. So this is the SysTools Outlook Recovery screen, version 8.2, the full version. When it starts up, it does a prerequisite check for four components. It says that my Outlook profile is not configured, but that's not true. I'll ignore it because in my test of it, the application still works. Go to File, click on Add. This is to add the PST file that I want to be repaired. There are two ways of doing it. I can either select a file if I know where it is, or I can search for the file. When I click on select, this top half of the window applies. When I click on search, the bottom half of the window applies and you will search in the drives A, C, D, E, F. It does not appear to search on network drives. So this means that you will have to move your file from a network drive to a local drive for it to find it. But I know where the file is, so I will use select and then click on the browse. And I have set up a local drive where the test Outlook data file is located. This is the file called the Outlook 2010 Mail Archive 3 October 2015 test data file to be repaired. It is of size 1 gigabyte. Select this file, click open, and the file will be registered in here. My Outlook data file does not have encryption, but if it has encryption, then click on this to remove the encryption and you'll be asked to provide the encryption keys. In my case, there is none. There are two types of encryption, SMIME and OpenPGP. I'll click Cancel. There are two types of scan mode you can choose, a quick or advanced. When you have the quick, it says use this option if the file has minimum corruption. I mean, how do you tell whether it has minimum or not? I might as well choose maximum and assume the file is highly corrupted and then get it to fix it. And here is the location where you can store the repaired data file. Click on the browse. I will go to the 
location where I want the output to be stored. I've selected the location. The only thing I need to do now is to add and you can see it says it's scanning and the status of progression of the scan. Message box has appeared, says scanning of the selected file completed successfully. Do you want to save scan? I will say yes, because when I save scan, it keeps a record of the scan results for this particular file. Then in future, if I want to recover items from the file again, I do not have to rescan, but I can just reload that particular scan result to save time. You can see on the left a file structure from the scan results and it contains mail, calendar, contacts, tasks, notes, and journal. If I just want to look at mail, click on that, it will just show mail. If I click on calendar, it will just show calendar. Contacts, just contacts, task, notes, journal, and if I click on folder list, it shows everything. You will notice that some folders have bold text and others do not. The folders with the bold text contain items and are not empty. So if I click on calendar, it will show you their items. If I click on this folder which does not have bold text, you'll see it's empty. A folder with bold text has items and a folder without bold text is empty. Next, if I want to recover some items only or the entire PSD data file, I'll go to click export and it brings up a new window and it asks me the format in which I want to export PST, PDF, MSG, EML, HTML or Office 365. I will keep to PST and if I expand this folder, I can choose what items I want to export. I want to select all so I click on the top and you see there are now tick marks on everything. I can untick one thing or the other but I'll just select everything. I can choose advanced settings where I can choose to split the PST file according to size. I can choose to filter by date or I can choose to filter by categories, mail, contacts, calendars, journals, notes and tasks. So I will save that. I will put a tick to maintain folder hierarchy. I will allow export of empty folders. I will use Outlook and I will ignore system folders. So the system folders are here on top and the user folders are this. So I just want all the user folders. I'll browse to select the location where I want the repaired PST file to be located. In this case, I want it stored in this folder. Click OK. It registered the folder location here. I'm ready to click export. Now this will take time. Let's start. You can see it's working through the calendar folder. The item count is increasing and it shows you the destination path that the repaired Outlook PSD file is being stored. Okay, the export process has completed successfully as you can see. So that says the location of the file that has been repaired. That's the file that has been repaired. So I'll close the export window. So in the folder, that's the file that has been repaired by SysTools. Well, that's it from me. I hope you can see from this video, it's very simple to use the SysTools to recover and repair my Outlook PSD data file. And if you find that the free Microsoft Scan PST tool does not completely repair your Outlook PST data file, then perhaps you want to look at SysTools and see if that will do the job for you. I do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.